Mazira Medical Camp is one of the programs of uh, the Mazira Foundation and uh, we started running the medical camps uh, five years ago and that's because uh, we realized there's a need in the community. We have grown as an organization and we have begun to consider more sustainable ways of uh, advancing our programs, uh, particularly based on our philosophy of um, uh, preventive medicine. The first day was uh, a bit busy. We had so many patients coming in with high expectation, but uh, we were ready for them because we've learned over the years what to expect on the first day and the, the Passionate Hearts medical team was prepared to, to deal with the crowds. The Passionate Hearts uh, medical team, it's a group that um, we just decided that uh, since we always work together and it's easier to work with people who know and understand the vision of the foundation, we just changed the medical team to become now the Passionate Hearts medical team. The good thing is most of you have been here before. It's a team of medical uh, professions who have a heart to serve and a heart to give back to their community. Mwili wako kama binadamu umetengenezwa na maji. Sasa vile unatembea tembea. Uh, for me, to, it, it is a chance to reach the elderly and uh, help them to know what kind of foods they should eat as a nutritionist because you find that many complications come at old age but along the way as people are developing and growing up uh, people don't really look into the issue of nutrition as a major as a major need so for us it is a chance to reach out and help them know that when this happens you can do this and why it is important to have a healthy plate even at that time of old age. We've been uh, teaching on basically on first aids. We've been teaching about uh, burns, stroke, heat stroke, uh, fainting and choking uh, because uh, we find that all these uh, are commonly found in homes. So it's good for us maybe to relay the information to them so that when they go home they can know what to do. Maybe next time they cannot, uh, they can avoid coming here because they could have prevented that at home. Mlango, mbengi andani. When mental health is not attended to, there is uh, something we call you start worrying, then worry leads to stress, then stress leads to chronic stress that would lead to depression. And when you're depressed, many things happen. Then there are so many things. You find that someone is sick, they keep on complaining of headaches, stomach aches, and all those things. But when a test is done, nothing comes out. So that one we usually attribute it to being a mental health issue because of worrying and which leads to stress. <laughs> I'm coordinating uh, the clinical work together with uh, the pharmacy. Uh, it's, it's a great experience for me to work uh, with this community in trying to promote healthcare, preventive medicine, and uh, with the hope of uh, even going further to build facilities am among within the community. Our plan has always been to change the mindset of the people because we realize that because they lack the knowledge, they end up 
with complications that they would have otherwise uh, have prevented. It is very important that we now begin to refocus people's attention towards issues like nutrition and stable mental health, which in fact have a very direct bearing on most of the things that make people end up at the hospital and usually at a very advanced stage. So the follow-up is lacking and that's why we are uh, trusting God that the, the, the clinic will pick up soon so that we can have our own you know, clinic to refer the patients that we want to, to follow up on. We will try to think about more innovative ways also that we can use to reduce the cost of medicine and more importantly encourage all the other players to focus a lot more on prevention rather than treatment. The future of Passionate Hearts is in recruiting more members and getting especially the young guys involved, uh, being willing to volunteer and carry on the spirit of the foundation. I wish and I hope in working with Mazina Foundation in future we'll have not just a free consultation but uh, a section of surgery. <laughs> yeah, of course, I'll be a person next year. I wish it was even done more frequently so that we, we just don't focus on one time thing per year. I feel like I could do it daily on daily basis because uh, I feel like I'm helping some people in the society. It has been a learning experience. It's been very good. It gave me a, a feel of what I'm in for next year when I actually start treating patients. It keeps you grounded. It keeps you um, knowing, knowing what the society actually needs. It helps you to even plan your, in terms of your future in medicine. It helps you know exactly what you need to do in terms of helping the society. Yeah, I think I would really like to be part of the team for longer. Yes. When you come to other cultures, they always open your heart. They help you to see a new light. And that's what my experience in Kenya has been. It's birth, new ideas, new hopes, uh, a whole new family. I have a whole new family here. Kwa sababu watu wengine wao wagonjwa na hawana pesa ya kwenda hospitali. Hata pesa tu ya kununua pana dupini kila huwa ni vigumu. Sasa mimi naona inasaidia. Nimefurahi. Tena nimefurahi tena nimeona nyinyi mlikuja kutukutembelea. Tumeshukuru Mungu. Eh tena mzidi kuturuhumia kila mwaka. Mm, Namubarikiwa tena. Na hii matibabu nimeifurahia.
gives me a lot of excitement uh, to look back at the journey that the Masira Foundation has made over the last nine years. This year is going to be our fifth medical camp. So far, everything has been going so well. So we started off by training community health workers and we did this in partnership with the district health management team. And to date we've trained at least over 600 such community health workers that have then we've been working with these communities to advance um, our philosophy of preventive uh, medicine. We have special units here like uh, ophthalmology, we have the dental, the dental care outreach, we have the cancer screening part, we have uh, nutrition and hygiene, that's together. We have pharmacy. So far, it's, uh, it's tremendous work, uh, but I think there's, there need to be more done on the lab work. It has been the first time we're introducing the surgical um, department in the medical camps together with Dr. Perry from Greece. I really wanted to come here to see how things work and if I am able to do something to help. It is actually my first time in Africa. I think it is fantastic. It is a great experience. What I think that it is great to do is to start working with chronic trauma, chronic wounds, and we can do that uh, with if we have a, a complete laboratory, complete functional laboratory, and it's not something that costs a lot, and uh, it can give us many, many uh, solutions about many, many problems. Our main interest is promoting awareness in cervical cancer and cancer of the breast, with a key focus on cancer of the cervix because it's a cancer that can, it's a major killer in our country and worldwide too. And uh, the good part of it is that it can be detected early and prevented and cured if detected early. have begun to develop um, more sustainable institutional frameworks that would uh, uh, not only grow the organization but also extend the partnership to the community and doctors as a community um, um, uh, generally focused towards uh, uh, synergy. objective as the nutrition department is to do nutrition assessment for the people and then we identify the nutritional problems in the community and then we identify the locally available foods that can be used to correct these nutritional problems and also to identify the specialist nutrition condition for the different clients. Based on the vision of uh, Mazira Foundation, the Passionate Hearts Medical Team is uh, comprised of doctors, uh, clinical officers, nurses, uh, laboratory technicians, and we hope in future that we can come up with a whole medical team, if possible even a hospital, that uh, will be able to serve the people much better. It has really helped us, and we wish Mm, they could uh, repeat it frequently. We are, most of the widows are very poor and this uh, camp or the medical camp gives uh, free medication. They are able to reach the mothers and the mothers are very free, more freer than uh, when they go to hospitals. <laughs> Uh, nione afya yangu jinsi divyo na nimefurahishwa sana na jinsi ambavyo huduma huko mahali hapa 
kwa sababu nimekuja na nikagundua ya kwamba kumbe niko na pressure of which si kwa najua. Kwa hivyo nimefurahishwa sana na huduma na popote nimepita hata kwa daktari nimeona vizuri na ningependelea waendelee kuwa hapa ili tuweze kunufaisha kwa sababu watu wengi ni wagonjwa sana. We are looking forward to doing great things in uh, the foundation in this region and also expanding our um, outreach and that's why we are building on um, the passionate hearts uh, medical team so that together we are able to actually reach out to people who really are in need most important part of this development and perhaps the most fulfilling is the change um, that we are witnessing in the society today and the transformation in the lives that have been turned around as a result of this medical camps and we are looking forward to developing even greater capacity to positively influence the Vihiga County and uh, we are looking forward to all manner of partnerships that would make that possible. It gives me a lot of excitement uh, to look back at the journey that the Mazira Foundation has made over the last nine years, especially considering that it started with an idea that was conceived back at the university between uh, uh, Dr. Faith Mogoha, uh, the founding trustee in charge of administration, um, and myself. Um, on the basis that at the time um, our philosophy was that if we uh, dealt, with, did, dealt with health within the community and especially took a hygiene and preventive medicine perspective, um, a lot of lifestyle uh, diseases and complications that people suffer from today and that lead people uh, to be in a position in which they cannot afford uh, um, um, health care or that makes health care uh, inaccessible would indeed reduce uh, the problems within the community by almost 75%. Uh, uh, So we started off by training community health workers and we did this in partnership with the district health management team. We worked with the medical officer of health in Vihiga County, uh, then it was Vihiga district. Um, and to date we've trained at least over 600 such community health workers that have then with been working with these communities to advance um, our philosophy of preventive uh, medicine. Based on the vision of uh, Mazira Foundation, the Passionate Hearts Medical Team is uh, comprised of doctors, uh, clinical officers, nurses, uh, laboratory technicians, and we hope in future that we can come up with a whole medical team, if possible even a hospital, that uh, will be able to serve the people much better. I'm here for Passionate Hearts Medical Reach Out for the first time. 
I like it. I'm enjoying it. It's a good opportunity for young doctors like me. We get to see many more cases and basically build on our knowledge and also help out the community, which is the main purpose. Um, so far we have a big tunnel. The patients are quite many. Uh, we've really tried to make it systematically organized. So when they come in, they register first in the tent, then uh, go into the waiting area. Uh, from there, they proceed to the nurse's unit where their vitals are taken, things like uh, uh, bo body weight and height and everything, temperature generally. And then from there, they, they wait for a short while before they proceed to seeing the doctors. Uh, in the doctor's tent, that's where we us usually they start from. Uh, general reviews are made. And uh, depending on patients' problems, they are then uh, directed to different special special units. A lot of patients in the camp because they feel this is a free thing and most of them come for our assistance. There are those who have been sick in the homes, they have not been coming to the main hospital because some of them they feel the place, maybe they'll not uh, have money to pay in the hospital. This foundation normally uh, is based to help the needy people as we are doing today. She supports people who are needy, actually not only the widows, even the widowers and the less fortunate people sometimes come in and she helps them. Uh, it's my first time in Kenya and uh, it is uh, actually my first time in Africa. I think it is fantastic. It is a great experience. I really wanted to come here to see how things work and if I am able to do something to help, to help Mazira Foundation growing and, uh, and the rest. What I think that it is great to do is to start working with chronic trauma, chronic wounds, and we can do that uh, with if we have a, a complete laboratory, complete functional laboratory. We can work with uh, traditional therapies, we can work with uh, PRP, we can uh, work with uh, a lot of things, uh, helping people, helping a lot of people. Um, there is always a need of help here. I mean, it is only the first time of uh, many, many times that I'm going to come to Kenya. It's a great experience and uh, it's lovely people, lovely smiles. Our main interest is promoting awareness in cervical cancer and cancer of the breast with a key focus on cancer of the cervix because it's a cancer that can, it's a major killer in our country and worldwide too. And uh, the good part of it is that it can be detected early and prevented and cured if detected early. 
and that's why we are encouraging our women to screen early in this camp and even in the future camps so that we get them early and those who have issues we treat them early to get permanent whole cure reduce mortality among our women uh, definitely there are a bit of challenges we have uh, had over the years especially in terms of uh, in terms of uh, getting facilities and that's the major the, ma the major issue that we are trying to tackle now in in the in the as we try and uh, build build on more on the medical camps make them more frequent uh, and we hope that we'll keep on touching lives of the people of our community and beyond objective as the nutrition department is to do nutrition assessment for the people and then we identify the nutritional problems in the community and then we identify the locally available foods that can be used to correct these nutritional problems and also to identify the specialist nutrition condition for the different clients. And the general population has been very receptive to nutrition information. They have been very willing to learn more about nutrition. That's why in the process we've been able to increase the type of materials we are using to carry out the nutrition education and then we are able to identify early any developing nutritional conditions and then we are able to counsel the patient and give them information on how to prevent some of these conditions through nutrition. This is important since simply because they will not spend so much money looking for exotic foods while they have their own natural traditional foods which can be used to prevent the conditions that they have. And this one will go a long way to help them to prevent these conditions and to stop them spending so much money on treatment. And then In the last uh, couple of years, a lot of very interesting developments have taken place within the Masira Foundation. We have begun to develop um, more sustainable institutional frameworks that would uh, uh, not only grow the organization, but also extend the partnership to the community and doctors as a community, um, um, uh, generally focused towards uh, uh, synergy and that basically assists us to address a number of issues that would otherwise be limited in scope if we only address them as a foundation. And so over the last couple of years, WorldComp International has come on board and we have partnered with them as well in at least two medical camps. Um, the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Board has come on board and in fact has been very, very instrumental in assisting us um, uh, bring into the country uh, uh, doctors from the US um, and Greece. Um, the medical officer of health has been very instrumental in uh, providing uh, facilities that we have uh, introduced in this year's medical camp which were basically surgical in nature. So as we grow, um, um, I see Mazira Foundation uh, developing not only as an organization but also a health institution that can then begin to more practically address issues of treatment as well um, as we move along with preventive medicine and, and so on. We 
set up the personal uh, health, uh, uh, passionate hearts medical uh, uh, team, um, which is now assisting us with organizational issues for these medical camps, including logistics. And we have also uh, uh, got into a partnership with uh, 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 Dr. Perry uh, uh, from Greece, who is bringing in the PRP uh, uh, the technology for treatment of chronic wounds. Um, and that is leading us into further development of Mazira as an institution in terms of facilities like laboratory that would then be very, very useful in uh, further research and treatment of the chronic wounds that uh, uh, we are currently also taking as a priority. So Mama Faith is a friend I've known for almost 30 years and in 1998 she lost her husband when she was only 38 years and was left alone with the children to look after them and she experienced herself how tough life can be when you become a widow and she was very compassionate about other widows and she started visiting them encouraging them praying with them and in 2004 they registered solid rock widows trust which became a network of widows to encourage each other they meet monthly Every year they also have a camp for three days. Um, they have a medical camp where we are now here in, in cooperation with other foundations. We met in uh, the 80s when I was hosted by her and her late husband when I was an anthropology student. And um, together with another Dutch lady we have an organization where we build capacity in women. And we felt like uh, Solid Rock Widows Trust now is at a point where they need to professionalize, getting systems ready but also to help these widows to gain some skills that can be paying off in earning a little income. So we had somebody here to learn them how to bake scones and breads and that is picking up. There is a group of 12 widows doing that. We are seeing how can each of these 12 widows benefit from it so they improve their lifestyle. In this camp, Mazira Foundation, it has really helped as, as young youths. For those people who have insufficient funds, like the way it is carried yearly, you find patients are, are undergoing severe pains that are helped here freely. They come in good number. I personally, it has really motivated me to join the outreach even my ambition of doing a medical, a medical health faculty, I'm really passionate to that. It has really helped us, and we wish um, they could uh, repeat it frequently, because it, is help, it has really helped us as widows, because we are most of the widows are very poor, and this uh, camp, or the medical camp, gives a free medication. They are able to reach the mothers, and the mothers are very free, more freer than uh, when they go to hospitals. They talk to the doctors freely. The medication is done very well. They are getting free medicine, and they feel that they, they come back again and reach them. <laughs> ili nikaweze kuangal, kuangaliwa uh, nione afya yangu jinsi ilivyo na nimefurahishwa sana na jinsi ambavyo huduma huko mahali hapa kwa sababu nimekuja na nikagundua ya kwamba kumbe niko na pressure of which si kwa najua kwa hivyo nimefurahishwa sana na huduma na popote nimepita hata kwa daktari nimeona vizuri na ningependelea waendelee kuwa hapa ili tuweze kunufaisha kwa sababu watu wengi ni wagonjwa sana i've been hearing about it but I've, this time I've got the opportunity to come and I've seen it is a good thing because this, uh, this camp is helping our people and the community. So it is something very good to us and we welcome it. Here what I'm doing right now is on the side of him, uh, cervical screening, uh, uh, VCT counseling, HIV counseling. It has been the first time we're introducing the surgical um, department in the medical camps together with Dr. Perry from Greece and 
we intend to partner together, especially in dealing with chronic wounds, and uh, we'll be working with the, the platelet-rich plasma to enhance healing of wounds. And so we are looking forward to doing great things in uh, the foundation in this region and also expanding our um, outreach. And that's why we are building on um, the Passionate Hearts uh, medical team so that together we are able to actually reach out to people who really are in need and um, make a difference in the little way that we can to make the, this world a better place. Most important part of this development and perhaps the most fulfilling is the change um, that we are witnessing in the society today and the transformation in the lives that have been turned around as a result of this medical camps and we are looking forward to developing even greater capacity to positively influence the Vihiga County and uh, we are looking forward to all manner of partnerships that would make that possible. Sasa wanaenda kazi, baby, akipata mia, tunasurvive. 